This video is about U.S. new home building and new home sales for February and lumber prices for March. Hello again, everyone. Keta Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here to give you another update of what is happening with housing construction and home building activity in the U.S. now that the February 2023 data has come out and I will compare those uh, trend lines with the lumber prices, uh, the commodities that are used in housing construction. And so there was an increase in total housing starts and in permits for total. The single family, which is the largest component of home building and which uses the most wood, and so that's why we are very interested in it um, for the lumber market, that was flat. Starts for single family were essentially flat as were permits. But remember that that data showed quite an increase in December and January. So it's an unusual time of year for new housing starts. Permits, uh, not so much because they're generally booked a couple of months before breaking ground on the new home, which means, uh, you know, a permit that was put in February uh, will generally likely turn into a start in April which we will find out about in May. And so lumber prices did uh, quite a little bit of a roller coaster during the beginning of this year, not uh, the run up from the lows of November, December and beginning of January. That would be the historical trend that everyone is used to. And now in March uh, started to rise up, but not recovering from being low. So um, let's look at some graphs and I'll explain the housing uh, up until February this year and then a little bit about the lumber prices. I do have another video coming up where I'll talk specifically just about the lumber. Okay, great. And here we have the uh, U.S. total, the purple line and single family, the blue line housing starts. Uh, from 2020 to February 2023 and then the three colored lines uh, taking that wild ride uh, your basic construction framing two by four prices western spruce eastern spruce and southern pine all of which meet the building code and so are used across North America for home building the total housing starts in the U.S. in February increased almost 10 percent from January uh, at 1.45 million units, January was very sharply revised upward. This is down 18% from one year ago, February 2022, when it was 1.777 million units. Permits are up more than 14%. So look out uh, the May release, which will show you April housing starts to see how that plays out if actual construction Great. Okay. So that's a picture of what's going on with construction activity across the U.S. right now. And then in terms of the housing market and new home sales, that took quite a hit, as you know, toward the end of last year with the increase in the mortgage rates, which uh, scared quite a few people. Some people, uh, you know, the increased home prices and then the rising interest rate put them out of ability for financing and other people who had no problem with the financing wanted to wait and see um, if housing prices were going to go down before uh, agreeing to their purchases. And so the uh, home sales recovered and now has in February been rising for three straight months and the uh, amount of home sales broke uh, the last six months records. So it looks like the dip in response to the uh, increased mortgage rates might might be behind us. And now we're starting to see a recovery of folks getting back into the market. Uh, those who were mostly those who were delaying coming in and um, agreeing to buy and the home prices have gone up and are now in February of this year matching where they were one year ago in February of 2022. So if you remember 
uh, during the first half of last year, house prices continued rising and then they started to fall. So at this point, uh, coming into the spring, the house prices in the US, the new house prices in the US are matching one year ago, which is what I think a lot of people are finding encouraging in terms of making their purchases that they've been holding off on since you know September, October, November, waiting to see how low those house prices will go. So now let's look at another graph, the new home sales against, uh, again, my lumber prices and a little bit of a commentary showing you that data. And then here we have the latest data for U.S. new home sales, that purple line, which uh, was popping up and down during the end of last year and is now looking to level off a little bit higher each month. And so that increased to a six month high and has been rising for three straight months. February 2023 was 640,000 new homes sold. There is still eight months of inventory uh, for sale to clear through, which is somewhat a lot. Usually between three and six months is um, considered normal. So those three colored lines draw your attention toward the farther right end, which is uh, this year, 2023. There was a pop up which would be normal seasonally in uh, February and then dropping back down. And so what is going on with that? Uh, a little bit unknown. However, the one thing that is clear is that no one is stocking lumber inventory as they're waiting to see what happens with housing and whether or not things will improve. Okay, great. And so really uh, all we can do is look at the history and since we understand now in hindsight what happened macroeconomically and specifically with housing and specifically with lumber prices, try to extrapolate what might happen for the rest of this year. The uh, analysts and uh, commentators, there is literally almost no consensus on what this year is gonna be. There are some people who are completely doom and gloom saying, you know, nothing's going to happen this year. Everything uh, pent up demand and demographics is going to be next year, 2024. Other people are saying the worst is behind us and there should be good activity in housing construction and home sales still this year. My opinion and some folks who I listen to think that we're going to have a small spurt of construction activity and home selling through the spring and the summer and then a slowdown again. And it is looking like in the uh, macroeconomic cycle next year will be the next time a real increase in the housing construction comes on. The cycle of U.S. home building up and down is generally six quarters or a year and a half. Of course, what happened in the past couple of years with the pandemic, the COVID changes to society impacted what normally would have been the cycle uh, as we saw at the end of 2019 and what would have been coming on in 2020 had all things remained normal. And so this would be a year of uh, slower, um, but some things have changed, it looks like permanently. And so this is what I mean by potentially looking in hindsight might not be as solid of an indicator as it had been in the 10 years prior, let's say from 2000 and 2008 to 2017, which also was an unusual time. So we can really just watch the data as it comes out every month. Now, the reason that I talk about this, uh, because for what I do, which is the lumber prices that come out every week, there is no lag in my data. We do uh, Madison's, we do our market survey on Thursdays and gather the data from industry for 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices across North America, Eastern Spruce, Western Spruce, Southern Pine, two by four, one by four boards, you know, studs, uh, Douglas fir, uh, specialty items like cedar, and then of course your panel, your plywood and your OSB oriented strand board. And so we do that every week on Thursday and then publish overnight. So my subscribers 
log into my dashboard to see that updated data on Friday, and that is that data for that week. There's no lag. The housing starts comes out once a month for the previous month, so it was essentially a six-week lag. And that's why I always show the data coming out of the Census Bureau against my data so that you can see my prices were going up or down and then concurrently when the data comes out for housing it was up or down so keep checking back if you like what you see in this video click like so that it will be recommended to other viewers uh, if you want to be alerted when i make more uh, youtube updates click subscribe here on youtube so that you will be notified and if you really are interested in the full scope of the data, not this small little snapshot that I do uh, irregularly when I do have time, go onto the website. The link is here in the caption. You can ask for a sample to see what those 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity items are and what the price is for that week. And we will also send you the commentary, which is uh, included in the dashboard for my customers explaining why those prices changed. So that gives you the update of the market at that time. And then if that is something for you, you can actually subscribe uh, to the dashboard and be one of the people who can log in on Friday mornings to see the new data when it comes out.